often that you see Glencoe in basking sunshine like this. Unfortunately, it's not as gorgeous and as dramatic in this light as it would be in the misty, murky, drizzly weather that you normally get here. But you just got to embrace the sunshine, I suppose. Given a lot of my recent videos, I think the sunshine likes me too much. <laughs> We're just going to drive around this gorgeous glen, go do a bit of exploring. As I mentioned in my last video this morning when I was shooting sunrise, I said that we're coming to Glencoe to do some exploring. We're not here for photography or anything else, but obviously if the opportunity arises to take some photographs, I will do so. But given the weather conditions today, it's not the best for photography anyway. So let's go and do some exploring, embrace this gorgeous glen and show you around one of the most iconic locations in the whole of Scotland. the most picturesque mountain in the whole of Scotland. It really is a wondrous sight. So we've arrived at the Three Sisters viewpoint and there's a piper here in full Scottish attire. Are all you non-Scots who love Scotland ready for this? view. It is getting so hot now and this spot down here is so sheltered. What I'm doing just now is, is I'm just admiring the mountains, quite literally. I'm looking at all the different crevices and the different avenues around the mountain. 
you've got some amazing sheer rock faces, you've got these waterfalls and rapids coming down the hillside. There's also some small trees dotted about halfway up the mountains. It's so interesting to admire this and admire the little details that most people would just drive straight by. I can see and understand why Glencoe is so famous and why it means so much to so many people. And just like that, we are now in Harry Potter land. We are off on the viaduct walk up to the famous Glenfinnan viaduct, which was made famous by the Harry Potter films, where the train goes over this beautiful viaduct here in Glenfinnan. And just as we're heading up to the, the gorgeous iconic viewpoints, I just thought I'd say quickly that this vlog has probably been all over the place. I decided not to vlog everything we've done today because, you know, while I've vlogged a lot of this holiday, it is a holiday and I've been watching quite a lot of Matthew Stodder's videos recently and he has said that quite often in his travels it's nice just to stop and enjoy the company of those around you, you know, chat to people and do things off camera. So that's kind of what we've been doing this holiday. I've managed to film chunks of things but even today, you know, we've spent the whole day pretty much exploring and driving around Glencoe and now we're in Glenfinnan. You know, I don't want, didn't want to spoil it by vlogging constantly but obviously I'm showing you all the best of what happens. So just in case this video is all over the place, I just wanted to explain that quickly. I have just got a little corner left to go around and then we'll be at the famous iconic view, which you, most of you might, might um, recognise from the Harry Potter films. This is quite exciting. I have been here once before and I remember I was pretty much blown away by the view. So here's hoping that today I get the same feelings as last time and I managed to capture some interesting videos for you all so that you can feel like you're here with me. And here it is, the famous Harry Potter viaduct. I can just see it now, the wee blue car flying around this area with the Hogwarts Express going over the bridge. It's exactly like it looks in the films. Well, 
what do you think? Pretty cool, eh? So I always worry when I come to places like this that have been in films that they're not going to be as good as what, as you know, as what you expect them to be. But the Glenfinnan Viaduct certainly blows my mind. I have never been quite this close to it before. I, last time I came here, I only got halfway and had to turn back, so I saw it. But I never got this close. It's absolutely stunning. And not only that, underneath here we've got this beautiful river, which is totally unexpected. Wow! Gorgeous river running under the famous viaduct here at Glenfinnan. So, there's probably no better place for me to finish off my tour of Glencoe and Glenfinnan than the absolutely stunning Glenfinnan and famous Glenfinnan viaduct. Today we have been to the place where James Bond's Skyfall, parts of that was filmed, and we've obviously been here where parts of Harry Potter has been filmed. Scotland has so many iconic film locations. If you're into your movies, Scotland is definitely the place to come. But just for exploring and anything else, visit Scotland, explore Scotland, and you will not be disappointed. I am gutted that my little road trip is over, but I'm only home for one day, and then I'm heading to Gairloch on the west coast for a night. So hopefully I'll get some videos while I'm over there, and of course, I'll take all you guys with me. Thank you all again for watching and I'll see you all again next time. And just one final goodbye, listen to this echo. Amazing. <laughs>